Pom. 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 Pom, pom. Pom, 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 pom. Oops, hit the camera. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. <laughs> Welcome back to Elba Vita. My name is Adam and today I'm finally doing a video that I've been teasing for a while. This is an old collector's book that I found from uh, inside my parents' house many, many, many months ago. This has got my old autograph signed footy cards from the 90s. So around 93. 2, 93, 94, 95, 96 sort of range. This has got signed cards from absolute AFL legends inside. We're going to go through this binder today. I'm going to tell you a few stories about things I remember from when I was a kid and, and where I got these autographs and things like that. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be announcing a very special competition. So please hang around for that. Now, first things first, I'm going to tell you a bit of a story. We're going to go down memory lane for a second. Now, back in the olden days, I sound very old right now, but back in the olden days, is we had a very special, a very, very wonderful football stadium called Waverley Park. Now, I used to live down near Waverley Park, and as such, that was my local football stadium that I used to go. Every single Saturday and Sunday, no matter who was playing, at three-quarter time, I used to go down with my dad and my brother, and we used to get in for free to watch the last quarter of whatever match it was. And on top of that, we also used to then hang around the players' entrance, and I had all my footy cards and all that sort of stuff around, and I would get my autographs from all the players. So I'd play a bit of like, where's Wally? Is You know, some players sort of came out one entrance, and some came out the main entrance, and some refused to sign, and some just sort of rushed away to their car, and one, you know, some other people that just darted away. Love going down to Waverley Park with my dad and my brother. Um, I was probably about, what, eight, nine, ten years old when I was doing this. And I used to go down there and beautiful spring days and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, it's it's a real wonderful memory from my childhood. Spending my Saturday, Sundays, Arvos with my dad and my brother uh, for matches and, and seeing games and watching footy and getting autographs. It was always so much fun. I started collecting footy cards probably when I was, I was about eight years old. So probably would have been now 92, 93, somewhere around there. First of all, things on the front. Duncan Calloway, one of my favorite, absolute favorites from the footy club. who's a great defender. Uh, came from Sydney, I'm pretty sure. He played for Swans first and then ended up um, with the Tigers, and that's where he finished his career. Obviously, the lifelong Tiger, Matthew Richardson, an absolute legend, legend of the game, and one of my absolute childhood heroes. This is an old sticker. Um, do they still do AFL footy stickers, actually? If anyone still collects footy stickers out there, let me know, because, like, stickers, I always got the cards and always got the stickers as well. And then down the bottom, I was a massive cricket fan as well, and these are my two favorite players, Matthew Elliott and Shane Warne, of course. I mean, I grew up in the 90s. There's no way Shane Warne was not a, a hero to me. The greatest bowler I've ever watched play. He, is, he was phenomenal. Now, inside, I've got a bunch of old cards. Let's have a crack and see what we got. Now, obviously, being a Tiger man, my first page is dedicated purely to the yellow and black. You can see at the top here, I've got a bit of Wayne Campbell action. Check these ones out. Now, I'm going to have to move the camera just up a little bit, I think, so you can so you see a little bit better. What do we got? So this is from 93. This is a 93 card. I don't know what set this is. Has it got any information on the back? This is select. So this is uh, from, this is a 1993 AFL Select card. So the same company that makes uh, footy stars these days. He must have been all Australian. This is a very special card. He must have been all Australian this year. Um, what's this one? This one is... So when I was a kid, there was no such thing as time team coach. No such thing as team coach. We used to have the AFL Players Association make cards as well as Select. Played most of 95 across. So this must have come out in 96. If they're talking about the 95 season, that's 96. And these are the AFLPA as well. What year was this? This is 94, 1994. See Wayne Campbell there. Another one of my childhood heroes, the captain for uh, the Richmond Tigers for a very, very long time. Uh, you've got, here we go, check this out. Benny Gale. He is now the president of the Richmond Football Club and has managed to help them get to the point where they are now competitive, competitive beasts. You can see the signature is pretty faded on that one. Not too great on that one, but... I love these ones. So this is this is select as well. So this is 93. So this must be 1994. 94 select. Look at that hair. Look at that hair bouncing. I'm like, focus all over the place. 
Oh, Nick Daffy. Oh, his brother. I completely forgot that his brother, Michael Gale, played for the Tigers as well. Uh, you got Chris Bond, Paul Broderick, one of my favorite players. He was out in and under. Scotty Turner, John Howard. Oh, my God, John Howard. I completely forgot that. He had a mullet. Check that one out. <laughs> Oh, uh, what a what of a what of the defenders back in the day for the Tigers? Tony Free, of course. I got two Tony Frees and a David Burke, who, of course, he's he is. Uh, David Burke was the son of a uh, legendary Richmond Tiger footballer Francis Burke, and had a couple of good years there with the Tigers as well. All right, this is what I'm talking about. That's that's Tigers out of the way. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all the Tigers I have in this. Oh, I got a couple more here. What do we got here? Uh, you can. Oop, ooh, here's a big one that I'm talking about. Obviously, not a Richmond Tiger. But Tony Lockett, signed and in the cartoon card. I love this art series. This is from that uh, Players Association set as well in 94. I love that. There's the cartoon of Tony Lockett on the back. And check that out. Oh, I didn't really know what this video is going to be. I knew I wanted to show you all these like old cards signed. Um, Chris Nash, two Chris Nashes, and another John Howard over here. And this, this is not signed by John Howard. That's an unsigned card I've got in here. What year is this one from? Oh, 95, 95. So 95, this was this was the select cards in 1995. And you see down here, oh, look at this. Two Michael Vosses signed. Brownlow medalists. Premiership winner. Three-time premiership winner. Pr Three-time premiership captain and Brownlow medalist Michael Voss. I've got a bunch of those Michael Vosses. And for all you Pi supporters, a bit of Tony Shaw action. Uh, father of Heath Shaw, who is playing for the Giants these days, right? Is he playing for the Giants? On the back, ooh, look at the back as well. We've got Scott Crow. I don't really remember who Scott Crow really was, but Chris McDermott, captain for the uh, for the Crows. Nigel Smart. We've got a bunch of Crows on the back here. Another Nigel Smart. More Michael Voss. Sean Hart. Rod Jamison. Steven Sizzler. <laughs> and Roger Merritt. Oh, I loved Roger Merritt. He was such a good forward. Look at that one. Oh, beautiful signature on that one too. That's really held up to the test of time. This was when he was playing, he was the league's oldest player. Oh, there's so many cards to look at. All right, let's have a look. Big Tony, another plugger up here. We've got two cartoon Paul Ruse. Michael O'Loughlin, Derek Kickett. There's a that's a great pair right there. Simon Grant, no idea who Simon Grant was. Wayne Swass, absolute legend in the uh, for the for the North. Tony Gray, Darren Creswell, don't remember him a whole heap. Uh, I've really already looked at these uh, Richmond players, but the King, Wayne Carey, of course. And that's his uh, cartoon, the Barbarian one, which <laughs> I've just noticed. I've got Anthony Stevens sitting underneath Wayne Carey, which uh, for any, I'm not going to mention anything, but for those who are in the know, you know exactly what I'm talking about right there. John Longmire coaches uh, the Sydney Sydney coach for a while. Um, Brett Allison, it was a great back. I love Brett Allison. Now my mum and my brother were um, North supporters, so I, was, I had a soft spot for them. All right, what do we got here? Tony Francis with one of the worst haircuts I've ever seen. Check this out. Take that bowl cut out. That's not great. Tony Shaw. Oh, Sav Rocker. Big Sav Rocker. Fantastic mark. Fantastic mark. But Collingwood supporters, you will remember, terrible, terrible set shot. Was Sav Rocker the one who went to the NFL and played in the NFL for a little while? Can't remember. Dean McRae. John Barnes for the Caddis. Oh, let's have, oh, big Mickey Martin. Considered one of the most unattractive footballers in the history of football. But what a backman. He was not in there for his looks. Oh, there's two. There's three cards in here. I just got a sticky part onto it as well. Oh, on the other side, I got two Gavin Browns in the back as well. I'm just going to leave those ones out. But Mickey Martin, look at that. Premiership backman. I've got some legends in here. Hit, check this out. Peter Hudson. Now, this is going back even further than when before I was born. Peter Hudson was the man, the leading goal kicker of the Hawks. He was an absolute legend. And right next to him, I don't think I need to talk any more about this guy. You know who Jason Dunstall is. You know how good Jason Dunstall was. And I'm pretty sure I've got a bunch of those in there. Because, of course, Waverley was the home of the Hawks and the Saints. Waverley Park. So every game I would be at for at Waverley Park, it would be either against the Hawks or the Saints. So there's a lot of Hawks and Saints inside here. So a lot of um, Jason Dunstalls and, and Tony Lockins and things like that. All right, Shane Crawford. I got heaps of Shane Crawford. He's a legend. He's an absolute legend. Brownlow. John Platten. Now this is, actually, I don't remember what set this is from, but it's a hole punch card. You see it's signed in pen there by John Platten. They used to call him the rat, but it's from Select. It was a little hole punch, so you you, you rip across the um, the perforator part and have it standing up by itself. Paul Salmon. Lock it again. I got plenty of these. Scott Russell. Justin Peckett. Justin Peckett. Put a nose on that one. These are my Gavin Browns that I was just talking about. I got so many Gavin Browns. Pie supporters. All right, look, we got some Collingwood now. 
Gavin Brown's going on there. Oh, what do we got? Finn Watson, Scott Russell. Look, I don't know. Is is there anyone you really care about Collingwood on this page? I, I don't know if there's anyone who, you know, has played with you in premierships, has, you know, coached you for so many years and so many success. I, I don't know if there's anyone on this page you would even remotely care about. Obviously, that is a joke because we've got Bucks right here. Here we go. This is, uh, what's Seth this one from? This is from 96. This is 96 AFL Players Association. Uh, league leader. Let's have a look. He's got that and then he's got his nickname down the bottom. Hasn't been calling with his whole life. Started at Brisbane, then moved to the Pies and have had continued to have so much success. Nathan Buckley. All right, looks like I'm going on to Saints next. Aussie Jones. I loved Aussie Jones. Loved Aussie Jones. But check this out. Three Lion. Three Spider Everett, in- including a rookie card. Electrifying rookie for Spider Peter Everett. What was that? 94 as well. Uh, we got anyone down here? Oh, Scotty Lowe. He was an absolute gun. Absolute, absolute, absolute gun. All right, we got some cats on this side. Well, we got Michael Mansfield a couple of times. Tim McGrath. Oh, Gary Ayres. I'll pull that one out. There's a Coca-Cola uh, set, which you can see Gary Ablett. But on the back of it, it's got Gary Ayres, and they talk about the coach of uh, Gary Ablett Senior, that is, obviously. And I got Gary Ayres to sign the back of the card because you can see his picture on there because, hey, that was my child log- logic. Never got Gary Ablett. Never got Gary Ablett Senior to sign. He, like, rarely signed. He walked out the door and just went straight to his car for memory. We're on to some bullies. Uh, look at these ones. Leon Cameron, former Tiger, current coach of the Giants. Brad Johnson, there's some grand... Elias... El- <laughs> Elia Grigic. I uh, loved him. Loved him. Scotty Wind. Oh, that's a beautiful. Check out the two. This is Richard Osborne. Check out that beautiful signature from Richard Osborne. He really put some time and effort into that signature. Man, he would have taken ages to sign every one of his cards. Who we go to next? We've got some Swans again. Check that out. Look at that. Ron Barassi. There is... As legends go, as legend as legend can get. Cartoon card from that 94 series. I love the art tunes in that series. Ron Barassi, absolute legend player, legendary coach, legendary everything in the whole thing. Paul Kelly for the Swans, uh, Br- uh, Brownlow med- med- medalist. Michael O'Loughlin. Stuart Maxfield. Now, Stuart Maxfield had, by this time I think I saw him, he was already playing for Sydney, which is why I've got him in the Sydney section. Paul Ruse, still coaching that sort of stuff. we got some Paul, C- Paul Couch. For the Cats. Oh, he is a legend. He is an absolute legend of the game. His son's still playing for the Bullies these days. But Tony Libertore, Libba, original, OG Libba. No one ever thought he was going to be any good because he was just too short. Everyone was like, no, Libba's no, no, not going to be any good. But he refused. Well, how tall was he? He was 163 centimeters. So I am about 180 centimeters. So yeah, I, even I'm just taught, taller than him. All right. Oh, we got some Dockers. Now this is very early Dockers. Any Frio fans? I wonder if you remember him. John Hutton, Peter Mann, and I don't know who this guy is. Stephen, Stephen O'Reilly. I must have known who they were back in the day because I would have recognized them, had their cards with me to see if they came through. Any more Dockers? Uh, let's, that's just, whoops. We'll throw that down there. All right. We got some more Saints. Stuart Lowe, Dean Anderson. Do I need to go any further? In his time, Robert Harvey was the best player in the AFL. Robert Harvey was the man. Very Fife-like as far as being a just incredible, incredible footballer, but just never had the success that because the Saints just couldn't get it done. Same, kind of same with um, Fifey and, and the Dockers at the moment, right? Joel Smith, Nathan Burke. Oh, was he a captain? I feel like Burke was a captain. I'm going to have to check that one up. We got some Gary Hocking and Billy Brown. Let's look at big Billy. Billy, legend of the game. Got him to sign in green. I don't have many of these that are in green. Looks like only one, I got one Billy. Still kicking around. He's still doing commentary and radio shows on Triple M and stuff like that. Big Billy. He's a lot bigger than he was then. West Coast. Have a look at these. Peter Matera, one of the greatest Eagles of all time. Glenn Jagovic, one of the greatest Eagles of all time. John Worsfold, one of the greatest Eagles of all time. And Chris Mainwaring, not one of the best Eagles of all time, but a very, very good Eagle. Oh, Jacko. Jacko was the best defender. Back in the day, he was as good as a defender got. As good as it got. Blues. Look like we're heading in blues now. Oh, oh look at these. Look at this three combination. Kuda, Anthony Kudafides, Steven Silvani, Obviously, his son's still playing for the Blues these days. And Justin Madden. That is a good triple combination right there. Uh, Chris Brad Pierce. Don't remember him. Scott Camparelli. That's a good one. Chris Chew is a good one. He was good. 
Craig Bradley classic. Oh, Brett Radden, check that out. Still coaching these days. Kernahan, as legendary of a blues player as you can think of. Michael Sexton, no idea. And what is this? So the year that this one came out, the year that this, well, this one came out, they didn't just do all Australian uh, players and coaches. We also did all Australian umpires and Daryl uh, Darren Goldspinks. I'm pretty, I'm actually confident that that signature is of Darren Goldspinks and not David Parkin. I remember getting an umpire to sign a card when I was a kid, and it, and I can't imagine there's a many cards of umpires right there. And Goldspinks was like the most popular, well-known umpire, I think. He was sort of like the Razor Ray, although. Goldsmiths was a better umpire than Razor Ray. Don't get me started on Razor Ray. Here's some more Roger Merritt. Here's some more uh, Bears, aka Brisbane Lions these days. Brisbane Bears back in the day. Marcus Ashford, Gilbert McAdam. He was a good player too. Um, Scott McIver and Matthew Kennedy. Oh, phew. here is a legend. Here is a player who, far beyond his time, Nicky Winmar, the legendary saint. Got some more Robert Harvey. I told you got a lot of Robbie Hart and a Joel Smith. Future star for the for the Saints. All right. Oh, some more bullies. <laughs> Look at this. I loved him. I loved him so much. And I wasn't even a bull, uh, Bulldog supporter. But Dougie Hawkins for the Lions and the Bulldogs. He played for both of them. Good looking signature there as well. Really bright. Very vibrant. I loved Dougie Hawkins. He was always a highlight on the footy show. Little Dougie Hawkins. You couldn't you couldn't hate him. You really couldn't. Craig Lambert. Now I've got one, two, three Craig Lamberts. This one is from very early. It looks like Scanlon's to me. It looks like a Scanlon's card. Uh, Craig Lambert used to play for the Tigers, and then he moved to the Lions. I'm pretty sure I got all these signatures when they're... Yeah, check that out. Lions, what year is that? Scanlon's, 133 of 168. Um, one of the outstanding Tiger Cubs of 1988. Beautifully balanced, quick, and aggressive. Of 1988, this could be a 1989 football card. Alistair Lynch, legendary backman. Michael Voss, Michael Voss. Do I need to say anything about Michael Voss? I, <laughs> I like how on this card, everyone else is just like, I'll just sign over my face and whatever. He's deliberately tried to sign off the shot of him, which is pretty cool as he's signed over top of um, the Brisbane area. I've got, I've got a couple of Vosses over here, I think. Um, oh yeah, we looked at we looked at the other bosses before, right? Plenty of Michael Voss. If you don't know who Michael Voss is, one of the best, one of the best I've ever seen. Let's have a look in here. All right, I've got some blues. Brent Heaver. I've got look, you know, just a, just just a little known footballer, a little known Premiership player, a little known Brownlow medalist, just a little known you know player called James Hurd. All Australian this year. Just, 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 you know, a little bit of James Hurd right there. Again, if you don't know who James Hurd is, then go talk to mum and dad because you must be like at least two years old. Paul Hudson, he was good. I like to talk him. Gavin Wangadine, Gavin Wangadine, loved, loved Wangadine. Keep going through. I've only got a couple, couple more pages left actually, and then I'm going to talk about the competition. Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> the Return of the Dead. Dougie Hawkins signed as well because of course Dougie, and it's one of those art tune cards I was talking about before from the '94 set. Love these ones, and you got a little Libba. And you got Dougie Hawkins right there. Love that card. Love my art tunes. I always love drawn cards. Like the magic cards, the character card, things like I always love that. Uh, Jeff Hogg. Jeff Hogg. I know that face. Uh, used to play for the Tigers, then fits, then went to the then went to the Lions. What was the other way around? We've got Stephen Paxman, Simon Hawking, McCarthy, Simon Atkins, Jared Mullet, and Stephen Lawrence. Not a lot of memories from any of these players. Um, we've got a couple of Hawks again. Plenty of Hawks. Hartford Jenke, Darren Jarman. Ah, that's why Darren Jarman is here, because Darren Jarman ended up at Adelaide, and that moves on to my Adelaide section, which, if any Adelaide support... Well, Mark Bickley, look at that. Mark Bickley, Tony McGuinness, Greg Anderson, Ben Hart. But really, there's one card on this page that... If you're an Adelaide fan from the 90s, you are looking at going, ooh, that that right there is a beautiful card. The legendary Tony Modra. The goal-kicking machine, the marking machine. Hair in full action right there. He was one of the best forwards I've seen play. Spectacular forward who took the mark of the year in 1993 and kicked the most goals by an AFL player in 1993. So he took mark of the year in 93 and... Coleman medalist in 93. Crazy. And he stands himself out as a box office hit. Uh, goals, 129. All-time, 150. So he only started uh, in 92. So his second season, one mark of the year, and kicked the most goals. All right, let's have a look here. Oh, well, speaking of goals, you know, 
I, Jason Dunstall. I've already, I've already mentioned it, but Jason Dunstall. Johnny Platten, one of my faves. Nick Holland. I remember Nick Holland, future star. He played for the Tigers at some point. Am I making that up completely? All right, what do we got? Pittman, McCartney, James. Oh, Darren Kapler. I remember Darren Kapler. And I got a couple of, like, just lock ones. So, uh, oh, we've already been through that one. Have we turned it over? Uh, yeah, I think we have, because I've talked about Roger Merritt. And I think I've got one more page. I got a couple of pages here with some just random NBL cards on there. I don't know what these NBL cards are from. But Chris McDermott, Crow's captain, Pritchard, and Nigel Smart. And it looks like I've got one more page left. Jizz. I think it's just all Hawks. Langford, Hudson, Hartford, London, Lawrence, Condon, Condon, Condon. Lots of, lots of Condon. And, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Shane Crawford, Shane Crawford, Shane Crawford. Nick Holland again. Jason Dunstall and Olds. Oh, we haven't seen any of these. This is, uh, was uh, called the Kazali Classics. And it was an entire set just around legendary marks. Obviously named after uh, Kazali, aka up there, Kazali. And that's Dunstall's early mark. Don't know what year that mark was taken. What's, what year was that mark taken? Hawthorne, 1985. Um, 199 game, 910 goals. That's crazy. Has topped 100 goals four times in his career. Took more marks than any player in 98 and 89 and 1992. Uh, he was in the top 20 mark takers in 1986, 87 and 93. Dunstall is a model footballer. And of course, we've got another Peter Hudson. Another Peter Hudson. And some more Johnny Platten. Wow, those cards are cool. Those cards are sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you for going down memory lane with me. And seeing some of these old... Classic football cards signed by classic footballers. Now, I promised you a competition, and I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you a competition. I'm going to give some people out there. I'm going to give a few of you. Not just one person. Not just two people. But I'm going to give three of my subscribers, three of my loyal subscribers who have been with me for so, so long. Or, hey, <laughs> You can sign up right now and be part of the competition as well if you really want to. But I'm going to give you a chance to win one of these autographed cards. And you're going to get to pick which card you would like to take with you. So if you're a Pies supporter, Tony Shaw, Sav Rocker. If you're a Saint supporter, Lockett, Spider Everett, so many. I'm going to let you pick one of these cards and I will send it to you for absolutely free. Simply, simply for being a subscriber to my channel and supporting me on my YouTube journey. This is my huge, massive thank you to you all out there. This competition is going to last for one month. So I'm going to give you four weeks, four weeks. Hopefully that's enough for you to get your entries in and have a chance to win one of these amazing autograph cards. In this description, there's a link to a Google Doc, and that's going to be your entry form. The winners are going to be drawn by complete and utter randomness. All right, so I'll go back to my old um, random.org, and I'll put all my contestants in, and the top three people from there after eight turns will be who I pick out. One entry per person. You must be a subscriber to enter this competition, and you must fill out that Google form. These cards are, bring up an incredibly special special memory from when I was a kid going to the footy with my dad and my brother and getting all these players to sign these wonderful cards. I hope you have had a fun time looking at some of these old signature cards from the 90s and it's now your chance. You've got one month, so you've got four weeks. I'm going to be promoting this to the competition for four weeks and after that we're going to find three of my wonderful, brilliant, supportive subscribers who are going to be able to pick one of these footy cards for me to send out to them, which is, quite frankly, pretty cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you're enjoying my content, please make sure that you are liking and commenting down below. If you are new to the channel and you want to enter this competition, please make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell icon for future videos. I've got plenty more footy content coming out as we are going deeper into the season, and I've got some special other stuff happening very, very soon as well, not just inside the football world. Thank you for coming along with this little journey and into my memory and all these wonderful times that I spent. And I know this is probably going to be a bit of a longer video because I just spent time waffling and looking at old cards. So thank you for watching the entire thing if you've got to this point. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.